أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوما الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعض فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما لي لا أعبد الذي فترني وإليه ترجعون أتخذ من دونه آلهة إن يرد الرحمن بضر لا تغن عني شفاعتهم شيئا ولا ينقذون إني إذا لفي ضلال مبين إني آمنت بربكم فاسمعون قيل ادخل الجنة قال يا ليت قومي يعلمون بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين صدق الله العظيم We were reading the account of three as far as we can understand three of the disciples and hawariyin of Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wassalam and they say that the city to which they went was Antioch in Takia there this thing happened Now when this argument was going on between these three messengers and the people, one person from their own city, he came running and he said that we should believe in them, we should accept them. But can be the reason that I should not worship that Allah who has created me originally and to him you are going to be returned. آتَخِذُ مِن دُونِهِ آلِهَةً Is it justifiable that I should have besides him gods? اِنْ يُرِدِنِ الرَّحْمَانُ بِدُرْدِنُ لَا تُغْنِ أَنِّي شَفَاعَةٌ شَيَا If Rahman, the real God, Allah, if he wants and wishes for something for me, you know, if any harm is to come from him, their intercession will not be of any avail to me. وَلَا يُنْقَذُونَ They will not be able to save me. إِنِّي يَذَرْ لَفِي ضَرَانِ مُبِينَ Then why should we worship them? Then in that case we are in manifest error. إِنِّي آمَنْتُ بِرَبِّكُمْ فَاسْمَعُونَ Now listen, I come to believe in the Lord towards whom these people are calling. إِنِّي آمَنْتُ بِرَبِّكُمْ I have come to believe in your Lord. فَاسْمَعُونَ Listen it. قِيلَ اَدْخُلِ الْجَنَّةِ Immediately it was sent to him, said to him, enter the paradise. What does it mean? Those people killed him instantaneously. They were so outraged that this person belonging to our own city, our own people, our own nation, and now he's siding with these people. So he killed him. They killed him. And you know, about the shuhada, people who are killed in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, They enter paradise the same moment, instantaneously. Instantaneously, they don't have to wait for the day of judgment. They go directly. So pilat khuri janna. Immediately it was said to him, enter the janna, enter the garden. Kala ya leta kumi alamu. Now he was saying, would that my people had known bima gafar ali rabbi wa jalani min al mukrameen. How my Lord has forgiven me all my sins and He has made me so honorable, gave me this much honor in this garden of Jannah. Now this is the contrast. You know, if there is a wife of that person, she must have been weeping. My husband has been killed. Parents must have been weeping. Children must have been crying, anything. But he himself, he is in the heavens. And he says, would that my people know, why should they weep? I am in a much better position here. I have been honored by my Lord. There is no need of weeping. Ya Allah, ta qawmi ya'lamuna bima ghafar ali rabbi wa ja'alani min al-mukrameen. 
وَمَان زَلْنَا عَلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ مِن بَعْدِهِ مِن جُنْدٍ وَمِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَمَا كُنَّا مُنزِلِينَ And we didn't have to send an army, a host, against those people from the heavens. And we never sent such hosts from the heavens. اِن قَانَتِ اللَّهِ سَيْحَةً وَاحِدَةً It was but a single shout. فَيْدَاهُمْ خَامِدُونَ So all these people, you know, they were extinct. As if a fire which was raging and blazing, but now extinguished. خَامِدُونَ So this punishment and chastisement came to the people of that town. يَا حَسْرَةٌ عَدَ الْبَعَادِ أَلَاسْ For the servants. مَا يَعْتِهِ مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَحْزِئُونَ Whosoever of the messengers comes to them, they mock at him. أَلَمْ يَرَوْكَ مَا هَلَكْنَا قَبْلَهُ مِنَ الْقُرُونَ Have not they seen how many a generation we had destroyed before them? أَنَّهُمْ إِلَيْهِمْ لَا يَرْجِعُونَ That those are not going to come back now. They are people of the past. They are Adam Samud. They can't return. وَإِن كُلُّ لَبَّا جَمِيُّ لَدَيْنَا مُحْضَرُونَ And surely all, every one of them, shall be presented before us on the day of judgment. They will be there standing in front of us for the accountability, the great accountability of that day. وَآيَةُ اللَّهُمُ الْأَرْضُ الْمَيْتَةِ A sign for them is the dead land, barren land, no signs of life. آهِيَ إِنَاهَا We revive it, we give life to it after rain. وَأَخْرَجْنَا مِنْهَا حَبَّنْ مِنْهُ يَاكُلُونَ and from that we now bring forth grain which they eat. وَجَعَلْنَا فِيهَا جَنَّاتِ مِنْ نَخِيرِ In addition, we set up there the gardens of date palms and grapes. وَفَجَّرْنَا فِيهَا مِنْ الْعُيُونَ And we cause the springs to gush through it. لِيَاكُلُوا مِنْ سَمَرِهِ So that these people, human beings, may eat from its fruit. وَبَا عَمِلَتْهُ عَدِيهِمْ And these things have not been manufactured by their hands. Have they manufactured these dates and these grapes and this corn and this wheat? Who has manufactured them? You eat them. But who has manufactured? مَا عَمِلَتْهُ عَدِيهِمْ Their own hands have not created them. أَفَلَا يَشْكُرُونَ so, don't they be grateful, give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has created all these things for them. Subhanahu wa ta'ala khalaqa al-azwaja kullaha, mimma tumbitu al-ardu wa min anfusim wa mimma la ya'alamun. Glorified is he, who created pairs of everything, all the things in pairs, mimma tumbitu al-ardu, also those things which are grown from the land, وَمِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ From among themselves, they are pairs, man, woman, wife, husband. وَمِمَّا لَا يَعْلَمُونَ And there are pairs in those things also which they don't know. But our creations are all paired. They are in pairs. وَإِمْ مِنْ شَيْنِ اللَّهِ خَلَقْ لَا زَوْجَيْنِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ In Surah Zariyat, this ayah will also come. وَآيَةُ اللَّهُمُ اللَّيْلِ in the same way, for them is a sign this night. نَسْلَخُ مِنْهُ النَّهَارِ We draw from there, from the, the night, the day. فَإِذَاهُمْ مُزْلِمُونَ Now, they are in darkness, they can't see anything. وَالشَّمْسُ تَجْرِي لِمُسْتَقَرِّ اللَّهَ And the sun is running its course, which has been fixed for it. ذَلِكَ تَقْدِيرُ الْعَسِيزِ الْعَلِيمُ This is the decree of the mighty and the wise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالْقَبَرَ قَدَّرْنَاهُ مَنَازِلًا As for the moon, we have ordained its phases. حَتَّى عَادَكَ الْعُرْدُورِ الْقَدِيمِ Till it returns like an old withered palm stalk. لَشَّمْسَ يَنْبَغِي لَهَا لَشَّمْسَ يَنْبَغِي لَهَا تُلِكَ الْقَبَرَ It is not for the sun to overtake the moon. وَلَا اللَّيْلُ سَابِقُ النَّهَارِ nor does the night outspeak the day. Kullun fi falaki yasbahoon. All these heavenly bodies, they are floating in their own orbits. Wa ayatul lahum anna hamalla zudiratahum fil fulkil mashoon. 
And the sign for them is that we laden, we carried the, their offsprings in the laden ship. Most of the Mufassirin say that this is a reference to the ark of Hazrat Nur a.s. Because all humanity is the offspring of three sons of Hazrat Nur who were there in that boat or ark. So as if the whole humanity was being carried at that time, the future, the coming humanity, mankind, all was by carried by that boat. And we have created for them like that other things on which they ride. Because now after those small boats, then there came the steam boats, now the big ships like, you know, mountains. And if we like, if we decide, we will drown them. So nobody will come to their cry, listen to their cry and come for help. And they will not be saved from it. Except if there is our mercy. And then we spare them for some period of time so that they can enjoy. And when it is said to them, you should fear what is before you and what is behind you, so that you may be you may be shown mercy. Allah might show mercy to you. Now, what is behind them? The chastisements that came to the nation of Nuh and Hud and Saleh and so on and so forth behind. What is before them? The chastisement which is coming to them, not very far off, in the battle of Badr, 70 of them will be lying in the ground dead, including Abu Jahl and Uqba ibn Abi Mu'ayyad. Very big chieftains, all killed. So, اِتَّقُوا مَا بَيْنَا اَيْدِيَكُمْ وَمَا خَلْفَكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ وَمَا تَعْتِهِمْ مِنْ آيَةٍ مِنْ آيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ إِلَّا كَانُوا عَنْهَا مُرَدِينَ and to them doesn't come any sign from the signs of their Lord, but they refrain from it. And when it is said to them, you should spend for the needy, for the poor, from which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. It's a very interesting answer. These disbelievers say, to these people who have come to believe and who are exhorting them to spend their money on the needy, on the poor, should we feed those whom if Allah had wanted, He could have fed Himself? If He decided not to feed, why should we feed? Actually, we will be doing against the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look to the argument. It's quite logical. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for them that they should get, go hungry and I try to feed them, what does it mean? I'm going against the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In antum Allah, he's al alim mubeen. What you are saying and what you believe, you are in manifest error. And they say, when will this promise come to pass if you are truthful? مَا يَنْذُرُونَ إِلَّا سَحَةً وَاحَدَةً But they are not waiting except for a shout, one shout. تَاخُذُهُمْ It will seize them. وَهُمْ يَخِسِّمُونَ And they will be disputing, arguing. But suddenly a shout will come and they'll be all dead. Just as you know when this niyama comes, it will be a sound. Trumpet will be blown. That shout of the trumpet. It will be become the cause of death of everything. So you can die due to some noise, yes. If it reaches its intensity and its volume reaches that level, you can't bear it. And you will die. Then they will not be able to make a bequest, nor they will be able to return to their families. And then a time is to come when the trumpet will be blown. And you will find that suddenly 
They come out of their graves and they are going towards their Lord. They will say, Woe to us! Who has roused us from the sleeping of place of ours? And then they will say, Oh, Haza Mawad al Rahman. Now they will come to their senses. This is what Rahman, the compassionate, had promised. And now we come to know that the messengers, whatever they said, was true. In Kanatillah Sahat al Wahidatan. Then again there will be one shout. And suddenly you will find all of them standing before us, presented before us. Now no soul is going to be wronged in any way. You will be rewarded only that which you have been doing. No zulm. No wrong from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna ashab al-jannat illyawma fi shogul in faqihun. On the other side, on the contrary, the inhabitants of the garden of Jannah, of paradise, they will be busy in rejoicing. Marry. Hum wa aur azwajuhum fi zilalin ala naraye ke muttakiyun. They and their spouses, their wives or husbands, they will be in the shades of the garden, reclining upon couches. Lahum fiha faqihatun. For them, there will be all type of fruits. Lahum ayaddaun. And everything that they will order will be provided. Everything, everything they order will be provided. Salamun qawlam min rabbir raheem. In addition to all this, salam would be said to them as a message from the Lord, who is merciful. Salam from Allah to you, who have entered His garden of paradise. And as for you, O culprits, separate yourself from them. Oh mankind, O oh progeny of Adam, didn't I make a covenant with you? Allah ta'abudu shaitan. Don't obey and don't follow Satan. In the Mubin. Verily, he is for you a clear enemy. And that you should obey me and worship me. This is the straight path. That Satan. He led astray a great number of you. So were you not understanding? Where had your understanding gone? Where was your faculty of understanding? Now this is the hell which you were being promised. Enter it now. Today enter it. Due to the disbelief that you have been having in the world. Today we shall put a seal on their mouths. But tukallimuna aidihim. Their hands will talk to us. They will testify what they used to do with their hands. But tashadu arjuluhum. Their feet, their legs will testify. Oh Allah, this person used to use me to go and commit a robbery or a theft or something else. These legs. They have been given to me and you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are a trust with us, with me, with you. We have to use them according to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They actually protest when we use them. To the contrary. And on the day of judgment, they will testify against us. We shall have in Surah Hamim as When, you know, the people of Jahannam will say to their skins, why have you testified against us? Our own skins testifying against us. And the skins will reply, Today Allah has given us tongue to speak, who gave the tongue to everybody, everything. And we have to speak out. 
وَتَشْحَدُ عَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ Their hands and feet will testify to what they had been doing. وَلَوْ نَشَاءُ لَتَوَسْدَ عَلَى عَيُنِهِمْ And if we like, wish, we can wipe out their eyes. Then they will run and race to the way. فَأَدْنَا يُبْسِرُونَ But they won't be able to see. This is the stage of which we call pul sirat. This has been mentioned in Surah Al-Hadid and Surah Al-Tahreem. A stage will come. When those people who claim to be Muslims in this world, they will be made to pass there. But there will be absolute darkness. But those who had iman in this world, they will have some light. Who had earned good deeds, they will have a light. So with this, that light, help of the light, they will pass over this bridge. But those who didn't have iman, nor real good deeds, they will have no light and they will fall down. Beneath that bridge is Jahannam. So it is that. First of all, Salat, they will try to pass that bridge, that Salat, that straight path. But how? Fadna Yubsalul, but they can't see. وَلَوْنَ شَعَوْنَ مَسَخْنَهُمْ وَلَا مَقَانَتِهِمْ And if you will, we would have certainly transformed them into animals and beasts. فَمَسْتَطَعُوا مُضِيًّا وَلَا يَرْجِعُونَ So they won't be able to go forward, nor be able to return. وَمَنْ نُعَمِّرْهُ نُنَكِّسُ فِي الْخَلْقَ فَلَا يَعْقِلُونَ Whomsoever we give long life in this world, we reverse him in the creation. A time come when كَيْلَا يَعْلَمَ مِنْ بَعْدِ إِلْمٍ شَيَا All intelligence, all understanding, all knowledge, all memory is also gone. I don't know whether Regan is still living or died, dead. He is still living. But what is, has happened to him, everybody knows. Some time back, you know, it was, we, I had read that only his wife he could recognize. I don't know whether now he recognizes the wife also or not. But this thing happens. So don't you understand? And we have not taught Muhammad poetry. And poetry is not worthy of him. We have read this in Shura also. Here also. He is not a poet. There we have read, Alam tala annahum fi iftulli wadin yahimoon, wa shwarao yattabe wa bulqaaboon. Alam tala annahum fi kulli wadin yahimoon. Annahum yaqiluna ma la yafaloon. They say what they don't do. This is the general condition of the poets. So Muhammad was not a poet. Maaz Allah. Wa ma allam nao shayra wa ma yam baghila. In huwa illa zikrun wa quran mubeen. This is only an admonition and a manifest Qur'an. The yunzala man kaana hayyan. So that it warns whom, warns him, who is really alive, really alive. Abu Jahl seems to be alive. Really he is dead. Abu Lahab seems to be alive. Really he is dead. Only those who are really alive, they can be warned. And they can avail of the warning. وَيَهِقَّ الْحَقَّالُ عَلِ الْكَافِرِينَ and the word of punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come to be true regarding the disbelievers. أَوَلَمْ يَرَوَنَّا خَلَقْنَا لَهُمْ مِمَّا عَمِلَتْ اَيْدِينَا أَنْعَامًا فَهُمْ لَهَا بَعْدِكُونَ Don't they see that out of which we have created with our own hands, we have created for them cattle. And they become the owners of that cattle. Created by us, they become owners. We created the fruit, everything, they eat it. We created the cattle, they own it. وَزَلَّلْنَا هَا لَهُمْ مِنْهَا فَمِنْهَا رَكُوبَهُمْ وَمِنْهَا يَاكُلُونَ And we have subdued these cattle to them. So on some of them, they ride. And from some, they eat, they meet. وَلَهُمْ فِيَا مَنَافِعُ وَمَشَارِبُ In addition, there are other benefits for them in these cattle. And drinking things, you get the milk. أَفَلَا يَشْكُرُونَ 
Don't they give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? وَتَخَذُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهَةً And they have adopted besides Allah other gods. لَعَلَّهُمْ يُنْسَرُونَ So that maybe they are helped on the day of judgment. This was the basic creed of the mushrikeen. هَاوُ لَا يَشْفَعَوْنَا عِنَّ اللَّهِ They never said لَا تُزَّا or هُبُلْ They are the creators of this world. No, 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 not at all. We have read so many times. وَلَئِنْ سَالْتَهُمْ مَنْ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَاللَّمْ لَيَقُولُنَّ اللَّهِ If you ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they will say, Allah, Allah has created. Neither Laat nor Uzza nor Manat nor Hubal, none of them. But they are intercessors. They are beloveds of Allah. And they will intercede on our behalf. فَاوْ لَا يَشْفَعَوْ نَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ But that was, you know, the mistake that they created. وَتَخَذُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ آلِهَةً لَعَلَّهُمْ يُنْسَرُونَ and they have adopted gods besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that they may be helped. La yastatriyuna nasrahum. They will not be able to help them. Wa hum lahum jundun muhdaroon. Rather they will be a host brought up by them. They will present. Oh Allah, these are the culprits who thought that we, we would be able to help them against your verdict, against your command. So they will, they will be enemies to them. فَلَا يَعْزُمْ كَقَوْلُهُمْ So, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, whatever they are saying, you should not be grieved with it. إِنَّا نَعْلَمُ مَا يُسِرُّونَ وَمَا يُعْلِنُونَ We very well know what they are hiding in their hearts and chests and what they are saying. Many of them in their heart believe that you are the messenger of Allah. But they can't accept it. Because if they believe in you, then you, they have to follow you. They have to obey you. And their arrogance, that is actually the barrier. When Abu Jahl was once asked, do you think Muhammad is a liar? He is telling a lie. Oh, no, 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 no. He never told a lie. Then why don't you accept him? He says, no. Between our family and the family of Banu Hashim, Banu Maya and Banu Hashim, there was a competition. They fed people, we fed more. They served the Hujjaj, people who come to Baitullah for Hajj, and we served more than them. So there was a competition going on between our clans. Now if we accept him as Prophet, well, we shall be the slave to them. For all time to come. Because, وَمَا أَرْسَلَّا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا لَيُطَعَ بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ Now to obey him will be sure for us. I am not ready for that. Clear. Give the devil his due. He said what was in his mind. He accepted. No, he never, he never told a lie. So, فَلَا يَحْزُنْكَ قَوْلُهُمْ Don't be grieved with what they are saying. In the Nalamu Ma Yusiruna, Ma Yole, don't we very well know what they are hiding in their hearts and what they are saying out. Avalam Yarin Sara and Nakalaklahum in Nutsa bin Faizawa Kasimu Bubin. Does not man see that we created him out of a sperm drop and then he has become a person who is disputing with us, arguing against Allah? Rejecting the revelation of Allah. This is his position. He should recall what he was from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created him. Mazaraba lana masalan. And he strikes similitudes for us. Manasiya khalqa. And he forgets his own creation from what we had created him. Kala man yuhi lidama wa huwa rameem. He says, who will be able to revive the dead bones? When they will be decayed and rotten, you say they will be revived. It is direction. When the bones will be decayed and rotten, who will revive them? Now the answer is very beautiful. Say to them, it is he who will revive, who manufactured them, created them, originated them for the first time. They were created. Someone created them. Now he can recreate. 
doing a tenth again for the second time is always easier than to do it for the first time. قُلْ يُوْهِيَ الَّذِي أَنْشَاهَا وَلَا مَرَّهَ وَهُوَا بِكُلِّ شَيْنَ عَلِي But he knows everything. Now what is the, you know, connotation of this? He knows everything. Because, you know, some young man would say, when we should be disintegrated, our cells will be disintegrated, our genes will be disintegrated. Now these genes will go to some grass or some other thing that will be eaten by the by the gods, etc. How can these things be gathered together though again? Allah says we have the total knowledge of which gene and which cell of whom is where. بكل شيء علي الذي جعل لكم من الشجر الأخضر نارا the one who brought out fire for you from the green tree فإذا أنتم منه توكدون and you kindle fire from it أما ليس الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بقادر على أن يخلق مثله think for the last time is not he who created the heavens and the earth powerful enough to create the like of them, to create beings like them. وَهُوَ الْخَلَّاقُ الْعَلِيمُ He is the creator, supreme creator, and knower of everything. إِنَّمَا عَمْرُهُ إِذَا عَرَادَ شَيْنَ يَقُولَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ Verily, his command, when he has decided something, to create something, is only that he says, kun, be, payakun, and it becomes. That is the condition of his command. فَسُبْحَانُ الَّذِي بِيَدَهِ مَلَكُوتُ كُلِّ شَيْءِ So glory, glory is for him, who, in whose hand is the dominion of everything, sovereignty of everything, مَلَكُوتُ كُلِّ شَيْءِ وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ And to him you will be returned. Now we come to Surah Al-Safat. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وَصَّافَّات الصَّفَّة By the angels, while they range in ranks, the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep standing in rows and ranks, waiting for any command of Allah coming. So that they execute it. وَصَّفَّاتِ صَفًّا فَزَّاجِرَاتِ زَجْرًا And then they scold on whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is angry, the angels send the chastisement. فَتَّالِيَاتِ الزِّكْرًا And they are the one who bring the admonishing and the reminding from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the human beings. Ibrahim brought it, this, this zikr. Inna nanu nazzal na zikra wa inna lahu la hafizun. Who brought it? An angel. After these three oaths, now what is buqsam alay? On what these three things, these three oaths have been taken by Allah? Inna ilahakum la wahid. Verily, your Lord is one. I told you the central theme of these two groups of Bhakti Surahs is Tawheed. Inna ilahakum lawahid. All these things, they testify that Allah is alone. Rabbu samawati wa lamt wa ma baynahuma wa rabbu al-masharikh. He is the Lord of the heavens and the earth and whatever in between them. And He is the Lord of all the east. إِنَّا زَيَّنَّ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِزِينَةٍ الْكَوَاكِبِ Surely we have adorned the lower heaven nearest to this world, to earth, with the adornment of stars. وَحِفْضَ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْطَانِ مَارِدٍ And a guard against every rebel Satan. These jinnat, when they try to go up and to hear something, some angels talking to each other some, about something and they hear and then they come to the world, to the kahins, you know, and they tell this thing is going to happen. You should understand this, that whenever you know, there is a government, at the highest level a decision has been taken. 
but it has to reach. For example, Islamabad, the decision has been taken. Transfer such and such person from that place to that place. But now this order will be issued, registered, copied, typed, then sent. It will take some time. Somebody from Islamabad calls the phone. Oh, you have been transferred. The transfer order has not come. But this news has reached him. In the same way, the commandments of Allah, they are handed over to Malaika for implementation. But these did not. Why? Because they are very close to the Malaika. Malaika were created out of Noor. And Jinnat were created out of Nar. Now Noor and Nar are very close to each other. Nar has a Noor in it. So they are close. That is why when the angels were asked to prostrate before Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu was salam, Iblis was included among the angels. He was not an angel, he was a jinn. Kana min al-jinn. Fafasa kana amre rabbi. Now they come to this world and say, this thing will happen. And now some kahin, he will tell people, this thing is going to happen. And it actually happens after a few days. So now his business is established. So this is the business between the jinnat and the kahins. I don't know what is the word in English for kahins. Anybody could help? No? No, no, no. Kahins who used to, used to give the news of the unseen to the people. Hmm? No, they are still there. There are people who get some jinn, you know, overpower them. And from their jinnah they get the news. They even show miracles through jinnat. So this system is not finished. It's going on today even. Anyhow, gives them in kulli shaitan marid. But these, you know, the stars, they are also a guard. These are the outposts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala against this jinnat. La yassam ma'una ilal malayil ala. They cannot listen to the exalted assembly. Exalted assembly is the high the Highest assembly of the angels. There are levels in angels. Angels of this earth, angels of heaven number one, angels of heaven number two, and so on. And the angels who are very close to Allah. Al-Mulaikatul Muqarrabun. Who are very close. Then those who are holding the arsh, the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the closest. Hamalatul arsh. Who are holding the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whatever... Conversations go on. In the Malay Allah, at the highest level of the angels, they cannot listen. And they are pelted from every side if they try to go there and steal something. The They are outcast, and for them is an everlasting chastisement. Illa man al Except the one who snatches some news stealthily, then pursues Fatma who shahabun saqib. Then when he is coming back to this world, so then a bright flame, piercing bright flame, pursues it, follows it. This shahab is saqib, according to Quran. These are the missiles, missiles, which are sent against these jinnat, who have tried to get, to steal some news from the heaven. And bringing them to this world. First of him, Ahum Ashadu Khalkan Man Khalakna. Now you ask these people, the disbelievers, are they more difficult in creation or that which we have created? Other things we have created? The heavens. Was the creation of human beings more difficult than the creation of heavens? Sun, moon? Inna khalaqnahum min teen in lazib. And we have created them from a mud which was sticking. Teen in lazib. When there is some fermentation, you know, in the mud, and then there is some stickiness in it, with which in the villages in India and Pakistan, the houses made of mud, they are plastered. But for that, a mud is prepared in which some, you know, organic matter is thrown, and then there is fermentation. 
And due to that fermentation, there is a stick in us. But Ajib Tawayasharun. But O Prophet, you wonder, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, while they scoff, why the Azukiru Layaskarun? And when they are reminded, they are not reminded, they don't get the admonition. Why the Rao Ayatan Yastaskarun? And when they see a sign, they mock at it. Vakaru in Hada Illa Seru Mubin, and they say, it is nothing but a manifest sorcery, magic. Aizam itna vakunna turaban wa aizaman aizna ya mabusun. When we are dead and have become dust and bones, shall we indeed be raised up again? Awa abauna lavalu. Whether our forefathers also? Full, naam. Say yes. Wa antum daakhirun. And you will be humiliated. فَإِنَّمَا هِيَ ذَرَّةٌ وَاحِدَةٌ فَإِذَاهُمْ يَنْظُرُونَ There will be only one single shout and they will be standing, staring. They will come out from their graves, staring. وَقَالُوا يَا وَيْلَنَا هَذَا يَوْمُ الدِّينَ And then they will say, oh, woe to us. This is the day of judgment about which the messengers of Allah were warning us. هَذَا يَوْمُ الْفَصْلِ الَّذِي كُنْتُمْ بِهِ تُكَذِّبُونَ And then it will be said to them, this is the day of the decision and judgment, which you had been belying. أُرْسِلُوا الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا وَأَزْوَاجُهُمْ وَمَا كَانُوا يَعْبُدُونَ Now gather, it will be the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the angels. Now gather these people who are doing wrong deeds. And also they are like their companions, their spouses. And also those whom they were worshipping bring those idols from Somanath and everywhere. Bring those idols also. Gather them here. Mindunillah, whom they were worshipping besides Allah. Fawduhum ila siratil jaheem. And then lead them to the path of the hell. Faqifuhum. Okay, just stop them here. Innahum masooloon. They are going to be questioned. Maalakum la tanasaroon. What is to you? You are not helping each other. You are going towards Jahannam, hell, like goats and sheep. No resistance from you. Nor are you helping each other. Malakum la tanasaroon. What is the matter with you? You are not helping each other. Bal humul yawma mustaslimoon. But on that day, they will be surrendering themselves. Okay? Vakbala baazum ala baadiya tasaloon. And then, some of them will advance towards the others, asking, قَالُوا إِنَّكُمْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْتُونَنَا عَنِ الْيَمِينَ They will say to their leaders, you used to come to us with full force, using your authority on us, imposing on us. قَالُوا بَلْ لَبْ تَكْمُنُوا مُؤْمِنِينَ They will say, no, 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 you were not yourself believing, not that we led you astray. وَمَا كَانَ نَنَا عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ سُلْطَانِ We had no authority over you. بَلْ كُنْتُمْ قَوْمًا تَعْغِينَ You yourself were the inordinate people, transgressors. فَحَقَّ عَلَيْنَا قَوْلُ رَبِّنَا Now the final verdict of our Lord has been applied to us. إِنَّا لَزَعَيْفُونَ We shall have to taste, taste the punishment, the chastisement of the hell. فَأَغْوَيْنَاكُمْ إِنَّا كُنَّا غَاوِينَ So we led you astray. But we were astray ourselves. We were not on the right path. Had we been on the right path, we could have led you also to the right path. أَغْوَيْنَاكُمْ إِنَّا كُنَّا غَاوِينَ We led you astray because we were ourselves astray. فَإِنَّهُمْ يَوْمَيْدٍ فِي الْعَذَابِ مُشْتَرِكُونَ So now they will share with each other, this chastisement of the hell. Inna kazalika nafaru bil mujrimeen. In this way, we will be treating the evil doers, the culprits, the guilty. Innahum kanu iza qida lahum la ilaha illallah yastakbirun. In the former world, in the former life, when it was said to them, there is no God except Allah, they used to show arrogance. وَيَقُولُونَ عَيْنَا لَتَارِكُوا عَلِهَتِنَا لِشَعِرٍ مَجْنُونَ 
and they used to say are we going to give up our gods for a mad poet who is mohammed sallallahu alaihi wasallam he is a mad poet poet maybe he is possessed by some jinn majnoon or he is mad how can we give up our our deities our gods whom our four fathers have been worshiping but we can't give up them ye qulu ra'ayna la tariku alihatina bi shayri majnoon bal ja bil haqq wa sadaq al mursalin no he has brought you the truth muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has brought you the truth and he has confirmed the message which the former messengers also gave sadaq al mursalin innakum la zaiqu al azab al alim you will surely now taste the bitter and painful chastisement wama tu jauna illa ma kuntu ta'malun that you are not being rewarded but the same that you had been doing illa ibad allah al mukhlasin except the servants of allah whom he had chosen allahumma rabbana ja'alna minhum ulaika lahum rizqum ma'lum for them there will be the sustenance which everybody knows khawake fruits wa hum mukramun they will be honored fi jannatin naim in the gardens of bliss ala sururin mutaqabilin sitting on the couches facing each other yutafu ala in bikasim ma'in a cup of pure wine will be passed round them beda white lazzatin li sharibin which will be very delightful for the drinkers la fiha qawlun neither there is any uneasiness due to that wine wala hum ana yunzifun nor they will be intoxicated wa indahum qasirat tasfiin and near them would be with them would be those women chaste women who will have wide eyes kan nahunna baizu maknoon they will look like eggs who have been hidden faqbal abazum ala abadi tasalun the some of them will turn towards the other and ask qala qailun minhum inni kana li qareen one of them will say in the world in the in that previous life I had a friend. I had one of the comrades. Yakulo, who used to say, "I nagala bin al musaddatin." Are you one of the people who are confirming what Muhammad is saying? In scorn, in naka, I nagala bin al musaddatin. Are you who have confirmed what Muhammad says? ایزام اتنا و کنا تراب و ایزام ان انا لمدینون when we shall die and we shall be we shall become clay and bones are we going to be recompensed قال هل انتم مطلعون then somebody would say do you want to see do you want to see that comrade of yours where he is at this time and what is his end فَتَلَا فَرَاهُ فِي سَوَاعِ الْجَحِيمِ And then he looked down and saw and see him in the midst of the hellfire who wanted to lead him astray also. He was there in the fire. قَالَ تَلَّاهِ This person who is in the paradise will say, By God, in كِتَّ لَتُرْدِينَ You had almost caused me also to perish. Maybe if I die, listen to you. And if I had agreed with you, I would also have the same end that you are facing now. Walau la nema tu Rabbi, la kun tu min al muhdarin. And had there not been mercy and bounty of my Lord upon me, I might have been from those who are arrested and produced. Like you, I would have met the same fate. Afa 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 ma nahnu bi mayyati na would they would say the people of Jannah to each other? Are then we are not going to die again? no end to this life now this life is eternal illa mautatan alula except the first death 
that we have come across. And now there is no question of our being chastised. Verily, it's a very big success. It's a very big success. For the like of this end should the workers work. Whosoever striving in this world, he should strive to get this reward, this position. This is the thing for which you should strive hard. Is this better for hospitality? Or the tree of Zakum. This tree of Zakum will be the will be fed to these people who are will be in the hell. Azalika Khairu Nudulan Am Shadatu Zakum. In Najalnaha Fitna Tanizalameen. We have made it a test for these people who are evil doers. Because in Naha Shajaratun Takhrudu Fiasmi Jahim. It's a tree which will emerge from the bottom of hell. Now the people used to say, how is it possible? You say there is a fire in the hell. How can there be a tree? But they don't know that the physical laws governing this world are absolutely different. And the physical laws which will be governing the next world will be absolutely different. This set of physical laws that Allah has made for this world will be changed. So what they used to say, how is it possible? A tree coming out from the bottom of the hell. Inha shajaratun takhrudu fi asli jaheem. Taloha ka annahu rawusu shayateen. The shoots of its fruit stalk would be like the heads of the satans. Very ugly. Fa innahum la akiluna minha. They will, the people of hell, will eat from it. Fa maaleuna minha albutoon. And they will have to fill their bellies with it. Summa inna lahum alayna alayha la shawbam min hameem. Then there shall there'll be a drinking water for them after this. But that will be boiling water. Summa inna marjiahum la ila ilal jaheem. And then they will be returned surely to the hellfire. Innahum alfaw abahum dualleen. Verily, they found their fathers astray. فَهُمْ عَلَىٰ أَصَارِهِمْ يُحْرَعُونَ And they are rushing in their footsteps. وَلَقَدْ أَضَلَّ وَلَقَدْ ضَلَّ قَبْلَهُمْ أَكْسَرُ الْأَوَّلِينَ Although most of the people before them, they had gone astray. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا فِيهِمْ مُنْزَرِينَ And we had sent among them warners. فَانْزُرْ كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الْمُنْزَرِينَ So see what was the end of those who had been warned. إِلَّا عِبَادَ اللَّهِ الْمُخْلَسِينَ except the servants of Allah, who, whom he has chosen for himself. This is mukhlasin. Mukhlis means sincere. Mukhlas, who has been chosen by someone. Ibad Allah al-mukhlasin. The servants of Allah, whom Allah has chosen for himself. وَلَقَدْ نَعْدَانَا نُوحٌ فَلَنِعْمَ الْمُجِيبُونَ And actually, Nuh had prayed to us, called upon us, and definitely, we are the excellent answerer of prayers. When he said, Inni maghloobun fantasir, Oh my Lord, these peoples are overpowering me. So now come to my help. And we delivered him and his family from the mighty distress. And we made his progeny the only survivors. This ayah is very important. The idea that all human beings today, they are the progeny of three sons of Nuh alayhi salam. This ayah is the proof. Jalna zurriyatahu humul baqeen. Only his progeny remained. There might have been and there were some other people also on the ark, on that ship or boat, whatever you call it. But you know, their progeny didn't continue. Now all the human beings in the world are the sons of three, are the progeny of three sons of, of Nuh, and they are Hazrat Islam, 
حضرت حام اور حضرت یافس علیہ السلام وجالنا ضروریت ہم الباقین و ترکنا علیہ فل آخرین ان وی لیفٹ فار ہم پریز امنگ دی لیٹر جنریشن سلام ان علا نوح فل عالمین پیس بی اپون نوح امنگ دی آل دی ورلڈس ان نہ کزالے کے نجد محسنین ان دس وے وی ری کمپنس دی ڈوئرز آف دی گوڈ ڈیڈز ان نہو من عبادن المومنین ویری لی ہی واز ون آف آور بیلیونگ سرونٹس سم آغرقنا الاخرین and then we drowned all the others baina min shiyate ila ibrahim and from among his followers his party was ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam is ja rabbahu bi qalbin salim when he approached his lord with a sound heart is qala li abihi wa qaumi madha ta'budun when he said to his father and his people what are these things whom you are worshiping I spent all the time doing Allah to the Jew. You have forged a lie besides Allah, and then now you are worshiping them. For my God, no come to Rabbil Alamin. So, what are your thoughts about the Lord of all the worlds? Will He not punish you for this? For another, another time, Sir Nujum. Then he cast a glance in the stars. Kala inni sakim, and he said, "I am going to be sick and ill." There was going to be a big puja, worship of the stars, and for that all the people had to go out from the city to the open field, just as we have in India also, Durga puja or some other puja. So all the city was now vacant, and he said, "I am not feeling well. I won't go with you." And when the city was absolutely vacant, then he entered, you know, the place where the idols were there. And he did what he did, and we are going to read it. For Kara in the Sakhim, I am going to be sick. For Tawalla and Humud Birin, so they departed from him, turning their backs. For Raga ila alehate him, for Kala ala taakulun. Now he turned to their gods and said, "Don't you eat? These things have been presented before you. This halwa puri is theirs. Why don't you eat? Ala taakulun." Malakum la tantekun. What has happened to you? You don't answer me. You don't talk. For raga alehim darbam bil yamin. And then he turned upon them, smiting them with mighty hand, broke them into pieces. Fakbalu ilayi asifun. But we have read before Burli that he left one, the biggest idol. He left as such intact. Fakbalu ilayi asifun. Now they came to him, running. قالا تعبدون ما تنحتون ناو ذس واز دی پوائنٹ یو نو ٹو فیس ان اینگری موب اینڈ ٹو پرسیویر ان دی فیس آف آل دس ہی اسٹوڈ اپ اینڈ سیڈ اتعبدون ما تنحتون یو ورشپ دوز تھنگس وچ یو یور سیلف کارو یو کارو دی سٹونز ان ٹو دیز آئیڈلز اینڈ ناو یو ورشپ دیم واللہ خلقکم وما تعبدون While Allah is the creator of you, and also a creator of these things, these stones have been created by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, out of which you have carved these idols. Alum nu lahu bunyan, and they said, build a very big building for him, falku ho fil jahim, and throw him in the fire. Big building full of fire, a blazing, and then throw him. Faradu bhi kaidan fa jalna hum nasfalim. So they had a plan against him, but we made them low. What did it mean? They thought when Ibrahim will see the fire in front of him, and that he would feel sure that he is going to be thrown, then he will repent. Okay, I go back to get his life safe. But Ibrahim, he never even cared a moment. Allah Maa Ismail has depicted in a very beautiful couplet. بے خطر کود پڑا آتش نمرود میں عشق عقل ہے محو تماشا لبے بام ابھی دی ریزننگ اینڈ یو نو دی عقل دیٹ وڈ ہیو بین اسٹل ریزننگ نو 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 ڈونٹ ڈیٹ یو شوڈ سیو یور سیلف سو ڈیٹ یو کین کنوے دی میسج آف فلا ٹو ادرس بٹ اف یو ڈائی پل دس گڈ ول کم ٹو این اینڈ سو فار سم ٹائم یو سی سم تھنگ وچ از کوہر 
and save yourself. But no. He jumped. Be khatar kud pada atish e namrood beisht. Kalubnu lahu bunyadan falkuhu fil jaheem. They said build for him a big, great building and then put him, throw him in the hell fire. فَعَرَادُوا بِهِ كَيْدًا فَجَعَلْنَاهُمُ الْأَسْفَلِينَ And they had devised a plan. They thought that he would repent, come back. But they failed. And they were the lowest. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات وذلك الحكيم الله أكبر The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing IONA is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at t-a-n-z-e-e-m dot u-s or call our toll-free number, 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.